Hello everybody and welcome to this training course. Membrane technology for water and wastewater treatment by focus on the pressure driven membrane, microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration and reverse osmosis and also with a practical tutorial using Rosa software. Hello, my name is Ehsan Jafari. I'm a PhD student at TU Dresden in Germany and working on industrial wastewater treatment and reuse. I also graduated from this university in the Master of Hydro Science and Engineering with 10 years of working experience in this field. In this short presentation, I'm going to tell you a brief overview of the importance of the membrane, the purpose of this course, and what abilities you will gain at the end of this course. Membrane technology is a physical process for the separation of material mixtures in which the membranes function as a filter. The separated substances are neither thermally nor chemically nor biologically modified. Membrane technology is playing an increasingly important role in water and wastewater treatment, water reclamation and desalination applications. Pressure-driven microfiltration, ultrafiltration, and nanofiltration are used to remove a variety of contaminants from water and wastewater. These membranes have also been widely applied in industrial applications for water recycling and process intensification. Reverse osmosis is the main stream technology with significantly lower energy consumption compared to thermal-based processes. Due to high efficiency and possibility of saving cost, membrane processes currently represent a proven alternative to classical procedures for many applications in water and wastewater treatment. This course provides a basic theoretical knowledge on the selection and design of membrane processes, microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration, and reverse osmosis. At the end of this course, you will be able to select an appropriate membrane for a process according to the molecular separation size, materials, modules, operating mode, and etc. You will be able to theoretically explain the membrane problems such as falling, scaling, concentration polarization, and causes behind them, how these problems influence membrane performance, and how to minimize them using a suitable pretreatment, chemical methods, and etc. You will be able to design a reverse osmosis system theoretically and also using ROSA software and how to evaluate it. In the end, a number of well-known membrane manufacturers will introduce you their products, applications, new technologies, and so on. Last but not least, I hope this training course, which is the result of months of efforts by my colleagues and I, is fruitful to you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if there is any question or concern in this regard. We'll be looking forward to receiving your feedback on it and we'll be happy to consider all in our works. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Let's have a look at the contents. Section 1. This section is divided by two parts, Introduction to Membrane Process and Membrane Selection Process. In this section, you can learn how to select an appropriate membrane system according to the molecular separation size, membrane materials, membrane modules, and operating mode. In section 2, falling, scaling, and concentration polarization will be discussed and how to minimize these problems and also some examples will be presented. Section 3, pretreatment and post-treatment. In this section, you learn about the types of pretreatment and how to increase membrane life 
by an appropriate selection of pre-treatment and also post-treatment according to the fit quality and in the end some exercises have presented. In section 4, you learn how to design a reverse osmosis system in 10 steps with some examples and how to evaluate it. Before the design, some general concepts and in the end, energy and sustainability consideration will be discussed. In section 5, cost and capacity in water production using reverse osmosis and nanofiltration membrane will be discussed. Some concepts such as market capacity, capital cost, operation and maintenance cost, and in the end, some case examples will be presented. In section 6, a case study using nanofiltration for water production has presented. Section 7, that is one of the major parts in this course, and in this section you will learn about ROSA software and how to design a reverse osmosis system using this software. In the end, top membrane manufacturers and their productions to be familiar with these membrane productions in the market have introduced to you. Let's have a look at the references. As you can see, there is a list of references in three slides. 1 to 21 in this slide, 22 to 41 here, 21. and in total, more than 60 references have been used for providing this course, including papers, books, university slides, some related websites, and so on. If you are interested to look at the references more, you can stop this video. These books, as you can see, have a more important role as references for providing this course. These books including Membrane Technology and Applications, Membrane Technology for Wastewater Treatment, Membrane Technology Sustainable Solutions in Water, Health, Energy and Environmental Sectors, and Principles of Water Treatment. Now we continue the lecture in the next video and start the section 1. Thank you very much for watching this video.